what's up everybody so today I'm going to talk about how to sell sports cards at a flea market and there's a couple ways you can do it uh, one of them requires a little bit more effort and uh, some more time as well but you'll probably get some more money out of them um, the first way uh, is pretty much the easiest way you can go is just take all your um, sports cards in their boxes like a box of like 300 or a box of like a thousand or whatever just sell them by the box. Um, so you can probably sell them for like five bucks a box or ten bucks a box, um, depending on how much you want for them, um, and depending on what's in there, what year kind of year uh, the cards are. Uh, the other way you can do it is um, what's going to get you more money, and that's kind of sorting, sorting the cards based on players and based on teams. So seen a few people do this and then they charge like 50 cents a card or 50 cents for three cards or something like that um, they sort them by uh, the team that's local so in my area in Indiana they might sort it by the Indianapolis Colts or Pacers cards or, uh, like the Indiana Pacers for NBA or Cincinnati Reds um, a lot of people sort by Cincinnati Reds, so, um, and a lot of people sell, like, Pete Rose and King Griffey Jr. cards, uh, pretty regularly for, like, 50 cents a dollar a piece. Um, that's gonna really get you a lot more money by sorting cards individually, because some people might be looking for cards for the set, um, I assume that most beginners probably have sports cards from the 80s and 90s, which aren't worth a lot. So you can make up little sets of like uh, 20 cards or whatever from the same team. Um, and then maybe sell them for like a dollar or two bucks or something. And um, um, a lot of people might buy them for their kids or maybe for their collection, you never know what happens. Um, it's going to require a little bit more effort, but it's going to pay off. Um, just depends, like, what kind of flea market you're setting up in. A lot of people, like, go to a certain flea market for a day and bring out tables, and a lot of people go to those for, like, antiques. Um, and sometimes they're not bringing their kids to them. So, it just really depends um, what kind of collectors, what kind of people actually go to these flea markets. If it's in like a building and you're paying monthly to have them like uh, display your merchandise, then you might want to like spend the extra time to sort through those cards because you're going to get the money. Um, a lot of people go to those type of flea markets with uh, their children and they end up buying stuff for them. So that's really it. Those are really the two ways to sell cards at flea markets. Um, um, pretty much individual individual cards based on local teams or players that are popular. Um, I guess I didn't really talk about that. Um, you can separate it by most uh, players that are popular. So right now in the NBA, a lot of kids might like uh, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, um, LeBron James type cards. So you might be able to get like 50 cents a piece for those type of cards uh, just uh, just because those players are popular. So I would, uh, that's what I would do at least um, if I was setting up a, at a flea market with sports cards.